What is good, everybody? It's your boy, Big Al Kicks, a.k.a. the UI General. And today we're back with another sneaker review. And we got those Dune Red 13s, man. I know you've seen the shirt in the beginning of the intro. Shout out to Nasty Jams, sneaker tees, man. Perfect t-shirts to match those kicks of all kinds. Go on their website. They will drop stuff as kicks come out. They got some dope stuff on there for other sneakers already. So check them out if you haven't. Follow their Instagram. I will leave a link in the description. But back to the kicks. Now, I will call these a sleeper. We're going to talk about these for a sec. But um, let's go ahead and read the label. The label reads, Air Jordan 13 Dune Red. Dune Red Terra Blush. And that is the color code. And my size is size 10. And they retail for $200. I have already been seeing these on sale on different websites for around $160. 140 if you can get them lower than that cool you know it just comes in a regular jordan brand silver box kind of something they implemented when they brought back one of those jordans i think it was the 13 the um, cherry 13s they brought this box back and i think it's been the mainstay i know they've changed the colors a couple of times on the box but this is just the original red i guess true red nothing crazy no extra laces nothing like that in the box and you have it guys you have these 13s man these 13s are cold we talking about cold blooded man you gotta get these bad boys right here did, did you cop these man get in the comments now before i introduce these sneakers People were calling these, <laughs> they were calling these, they were dubbing these the poor man's bins, man. The bin 13s that dropped some years back. They had the premium materials and the color blocking and color looks similar, but there are some differences. So let's go ahead and look at it. You have a nice leather or a synthetic leather right here on the toe. Something that doing red on this quilted upper terror blush on the midsole wrapping around the cat's eye and some more of that dune red on the sock liner same thing on the medial side nice contrast in between the terror blush and the dune red white on the outer part of the midsole pods white toe cap and on the outsole Nice herringbone pods in different sections of the shoe. Fiber shank plate right here in black and white. Jumpman symbol right here on the other cat's eye. And I like how this is nicely colored and contrasted with the dune red and the terror blush to kind of mix. And of course, cat's eye, if you guys didn't know already, you know, it's supposed to be the cat's face. <laughs> <laughs> moving along back to the front you have the speed lacing system going up the side with the oval lacings perforations on the tongue for breathability i don't know if this is real or synthetic leather but it looks pretty good nice jump man and dune red right there on the tongue nice leather tongue most likely it's going to be one of those tongues that make the fart noise and let's look at the interior just the white jump man. Now 13s are us usually comfortable. Um, and it has that nice soft black insole. I forget the name of it. But um, a lot of people do like it. Um, I got to get these on feet, man. I got to put a fit fresh so you guys can see these. But before we do that, it does have a reflective upper. So let's check that out. And bang, 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 man. Nice reflective upper. So get in the comments, man. Why y'all don't like these? <laughs> Why do y'all not like the Doom Red 13s? Get in the comments. Tell me why you don't like them. Or tell me why do you like them? I want to know, man. I want to know everybody's thoughts 
and opinions on these. But enough talking about it. Y'all know what we do around this time. Kicks get rocked every day around here, B. Come on, we get ready to put these on feet and take these bad boys to the streets. All right, guys, so we got these on feet and they do feel true to size. 13s are very comfortable. I've even heard stories of people that have narrow feet going down a half size. The insoles are pretty good. The shoe is shaped very well. The toe shape of the shoe is very generous. These are something real nice to have. But um, get in the comments, guys. Let me know how you feel about these. And shout out to Nasty Jams again for the sneaker tees. To match this, I have two shirts that I'm going to put together with this. And I'm feeling the white shirt. I'm feeling both shirts. These are the ones I picked out. And I think they look good, man. Y'all get in the comments, chime in, and let me know what y'all think. And my thoughts and opinions on the sneaker, this is a good sneaker. It is a Jordan 13. And again, I love 13s. It's comfortable. It's a odd colorway. To me, it may look better in the fall. Some people call it a poor man's bin, but nah, I think this is a sneaker that stands out on its own. And that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give your boy a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And that's right, guys. Bang that notification bell. Turn those post notifications on so you don't miss a beat. You know the motto. I'm wild. You wild. We all wild, baby. Stay fly. Stay fresh. But most importantly, stay safe. It's your boy, Big Al Kicks. Signing on out of here. Peace.